Um, hi, Capricorn. This is your reading for November 9th to November 18th. I really hope you're having a wonderful day, and uh, I really hope this reading resonates with you. <coughs> so, happiness off the bat. Just joy and happiness within your life. And that happiness is coming from you being an example to others. Um, you being a leader. I feel like there is um, a calling you being called to. It might be, it might be maybe a journey. You might be planning. Some sort of direction you are heading in. It's bringing you happiness and joy within your life. And there is a huge, uh, a lot of people who are really looking up to you, who need you, I want to say, to not only better themselves, but to reach to their goals as well. For you, I really feel like you're just doing this because you're feeling guided to. You're feeling like, I want to do this. As a Capricorn, you always take that, you know, initial step, that first step, or just that, um, that, um, determination you have. Uh, that motivation, that inspiration that you have and a lot of people really uh, feel like they feed off of that and I feel like in return there is that give, and, give or take energy sorry, give and, there is that balance between what you're giving to people and what you're having to them to yourself it's kind of like you're taking the steps you're just following your happiness, what makes you happy and those who are coming after you, those who are following you those who are with you I feel like they're going through the ups and downs with you and your achievement is happiness and you just being the guardian the people who the, you're guiding people to happiness as well as yourself by you following your happiness you're having a lot of people coming with you yeah Oh, that's how you start off the week, by the way. I mean, this reading. You have the Four of Swords, the Ace of Cups, and the Star card. This straight off the bat just shifts into the next day. As you shift, um, I feel like either tomorrow, it depends when you find this reading. Just, I don't know. Anyway, um, you might be waking up from your sleep. Um, and also, you might be dreaming. If you are dreaming, I feel like you, these dreams are going to be quite beautiful. Um, you might, I feel like you might meet an angel within your dreams. Um, with the ace, this doesn't have to go for everybody, but it's just, just what I'm saying. Um, you might be having some inspirations. And... That determination and um, new direction, it might be leading you to a new relationship. It could be new partners you are having. Uh, it could be you wake up in the morning and um, or all of a sudden you feel a bit emotional because Capricorns, it's really kind of hard to get to your emotions. But there might be somebody who gets to your heart, you know. Uh, there might be somebody who's inspiring you, motivating you to uh, set up a foundation with them, to come together, to share um, a future with them, to reunite and have a moment together. I feel like there might be uh, somebody who quite um, helps you set up a foundation, especially with your ideas, the ideas you have with the ideas they have. I feel like both of you can really set up a strong um 
empire have a strong uh, future uh, with the star card in reverse I really feel like um, it might be that you lost hope in this relationship uh, it might be that you need to really slow down your ambitions it might be that you need to uh, take a new direction in terms of you are doing this and then um, you gotta take another path you know um, in life or just you gotta open up to even more things rather than uh, sticking to what you already have you might be putting your work on the pause on the um, on the hold um, but I really feel like there might be a, a new relationship on the horizon um, something that's just starting out uh, you might not be seeing a lot but in the future this could be possibly a marriage it depends on how you take things or how you go by things uh, it's a possibility however if you decide to really either things go south or just you can always ask the universe for um, something better or just more I don't know it's up to you but I feel like there's a relationship around you that could be leading to building a home foundation with somebody um, also this could have been something that you dreamed about in the past and now it's coming to reality it's manifesting in reality however the manifestation needed you to be a bit more stable than um, you were in the past this person could be an Aquarius it could be um, but with Ace of Cups, I've been getting the Ace of Cups. Last time I did your reading, the Ace of Cups also showed up. And that was on the 7th. Today's the 9th. So um, I feel like there might be a relationship that's just lingering. There's just that, yeah, there is a relationship that's lingering. If you give it enough time, it will become into something strong. And also, yeah, you could have had dreams about this person or dreamed about this person. I feel like you'd know this person. You might not have seen their face. Yeah, if I get into that, this is going to take forever. But yeah. Anyway. <laughs> and this person is going to bring you happiness. They make you happy. They make you feel like yourself around them okay straight off wow interesting all right ah ah my eye I think I sliced my eye up um Five of Cups. There is something you're leaving behind. Something which, let's be honest, you are really. Um, I feel like you might be moving forward from this situation. There might be uh, some people from your past that are resurfacing. Um, there might be some people in your life that you have to walk away from or just leave behind because they were not um, worth it to keep up or just to pull up with. I feel like you yourself, you are fit for this battle. Oh, wow. Okay, okay, okay. So these people that are coming back within your life, um, I'm sorry to say this. I really hate to put anybody down, but I feel like they can't fight the battles without you. And from the looks of this, oh wow, that's crazy. You are the most capable soldier to fight these battles. You can fight their battles, but they can't fight for you. They can't help you. There, uh, there is a reason why you had to walk away with a victory. There is a victor. There is a victory. Um, you might be coming towards. Sorry, yeah, there might be a victory that you're coming towards, or just you're coming to. Um, You basically, like I told you, you you have happiness, the the sun card. So not only is gonna come, I feel like you're gonna be experiencing in these first days, but I feel like there's another victory waiting for you along the way. 
Um, there might be a call for action also uh, coming in to you uh, around this time. Uh, call for somebody that's encouraging you to take action. And for you to take action, you got to leave a situation behind. Some, some situation is dead and over with. You know, there is no need to go back to it. It's just there is no need to it. You know, there is no further progress. There is no further achievement. I just feel like it just came to that halt. Um, as you move on, uh, I feel like you're going to be quite quite feeling um some sort of way, uh, with the five of cups, just feeling down, just feeling bad about um things you lost in your life, um lost opportunities, you know things taken for granted and uh, things that you were not so careful, but that you might have been careless on. I feel like those feelings are kind of resurfacing. However, it's not a bad thing. It's just to show you that um, with what you're going to have in the future, which it actually I feel like this card showed up in the most perfect time ever. It's just to show you that with whatever that you're going to be having within your life, uh, especially with the death card, your old life is dead done over with your old situations, relationships that you are now um, really uh, letting go. I feel like you're deciding to put them behind. You're deciding to really uh, see what's there for you, you know, what's beyond the mountains, what's beyond the horizon, you know. You're being a bit of an explorer. And you, for you to do that, you got to leave your old life behind. And with the Five of Cups, it, it comes to tell me that you gotta you gotta have learned the lessons you have to, you had to you know you don't just let go of situations just like that and when even though the five of cups might feel a bit bad you know trust me you're gonna feel like shit you're gonna be like man i wish i had this i had this but that's gonna be i'm sorry this is that's gonna be the most dumbest shit you would ever say in your life if you look back at situations or relationships and you're like i wish i had this i wish i had that i wish i had them i wish i had this it's gonna be the dumbest shit ever in your life because what's coming in for you is something that's more amazing and you gotta really realize what you have and the universe is trying to show you not not just to just make you feel like this the universe is trying to show you that hey you lost this and this in the past however you didn't just lose it capricorns don't just cut off relationships just like that you don't just let go of people you don't just things don't just come and disappear in your life coincidentally you gotta have learned the lessons you gotta have learned how people were treating you how you got treated or how you were treating others so that you can do better do better with what you need what you deserve what you need in a relationship and with the five of cups, it's just to really show you what you have right off the bat, what you have in front of you. Take care of it. Those who you have in your circle, take care of them. Those who you can trust, really put your heart in them. Allow them to carry you where they can't. You can't carry yourself. With the five of cups, just learn and realize that those who you have besides you are gonna fight the battles for you. Unlike these people who you had uh, in the past, those who stayed there for you are willing to really carry you up through the ups and downs and they're willing to sacrifice themselves for you however however those who easily come and go they just come and go they're not there for the battle they're not there for the ups and downs they're just there for the good times just for the good times have no experience they have no will they have no fire it's just just like souls represent air, these people come and go. And I feel like you stick to air room. You stick to your people. You feel bad for losing them, not because you are an asshole, but because you care. But those who you have, they're going to be willing to invest in you for the long term. And these people are intuitively guided. And that's going to leave you in your power. With the strength card, your intuition is really telling you something. And your intuition is trying to move you on for the better. So don't just feel like shit is just happening like that for no reason. There's a reason behind it. I feel like you're going to be laying down a foundation for yourself. You're going to become more established, more um, settled uh, within your environment. Feeling more of yourself. (laughs) 
Okay. Um, I thought this card would be upright, but it's not. So it's telling me something that needs to be revealed to you. Uh, with the six of cups and the king of pentacles, both in reverse. Um, it might be somebody might be getting a bit serious. Um, somebody might be maturing up. Um, with the king of uh, pentacles, I feel like there might be some overspending that's taking place. Within somebody's world, you could be dealing with a Pisces. It could be like this person is um is I feel like reminiscing, looking back at the childhood memories, and uh, maybe they're trying to bring that back. However, one of you is just really grown up, really, um, you just grew up out of the situation. Um, it could be like this person is, doesn't have a history with you as much. So they're trying to overspend to make those memories. But, you know, you can see how that just. Uh, I feel like that's all I have to say about that. But be careful of spending with the yeah be careful be careful but things are moving on for the better this person could be trying to move things uh to the better maybe this person doesn't have history with you but they're trying to make those memories with you they might be trying to reconcile but they find you in the don't play with me mode um you are just taking action towards things which you feel motivated and inspired on just like no off the bat um ace of pentacles um you have a new career opening up and i feel like i should be stopping this video soon um you have a new career opening up uh you might be starting a new job a new duty um you could be in the future you're going to be a bit of a <sighs> I don't know where this came from, but you're going to be a numbers guy, numbers guy. You could be involved in a business. You could be studying your own business. You could be doing, maybe going back to school. Some you may be going back to college. Somebody might be but might be deciding to go back to college, but it's not happening now. It's gonna happen in the future. Um, but you're not going. You're going a bit. Even you're going a bit grown. You're not going, you know, at the same age everybody starts college in. I feel like you're going either a bit grown, uh, you're going there a bit more serious, you're going there a bit more um, refined. Uh, basically, there is a maturity within you um, versus something that just is childhood like, you know. Anyway, um, is there anything Capricorn has to know? Four of Cups. Uh, there's some regret that's taking place within you. Um, okay. Uh, so that regret, um, I feel like you missed somebody. It's less of a regret than it's more of a you missed somebody. And it might be that you're keeping it to yourself. Um this person might be a bit of a caring person this person might be uh, a truly loving person a loving lady a loving woman this person cares i feel like about you um it could be your mother also it could be another woman within your life who truly cares about you um but they have this feminine energy with the three of coins, the king of wands, so queen of wands. Uh, I feel like I might end the reading there. So uh, I feel like you missed them, but you're not really going after them. It's just one of those roaming around thoughts. You know, you're just sitting here and just you just look back and you're like, I missed this. 
I miss them, you know. I feel like you have a lot of opportunities coming up for you in the future. And I feel like this person might be somebody who you have walked with in the past. For some of you, this might be um, either gender. However, I feel like both of you have a bond. A strong bond. The reason why I said that is because with the... You know how females bond? Yeah. How... Let's go to the bathroom. You know? Everybody just goes to the bathroom. That bond, let's go eat. They'll go eat. Basically, that bond, that feminine bond. That's what's taking place here. Um, With the Queen of Cups and the Queen of Wands. There is that bond, you know, and it's quite of a strong bond. One is offering love and one is offering knowledge and they're coming together to um, build each other up. You know, it's kind of like one has experience in love and they're coming to offer love and they are really strategic where they know the ins and outs. They know that your hearts and it's kind of good. And the other person uh, is showing up in ways of um, this Queen of Wands is showing up in the ways of they just they have knowledge. They are quite um, knowledgeable. They 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 are wise. They are smart. You know, maybe they don't have a lot of experience within love, but they damn well have a big brain or big whatever the f- knowledge that is. Kind of like. They don't know about love, but they know how to assemble a computer. <laughs> no, no, no. Anyway, um, thank you for the reading. And um, just, yeah. <sighs> anyway, have a nice one, Capricorn.